Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to a Magic the Gathering opening. I almost forgot that I ordered this in the mail about a month ago, but it was great to get it. It's the Ikoria pre-release pack. Yay. All right, so today we're going to open this thing up. We're going to crack it open and see what's on the inside and then uh, open up the booster packs. Uh, because I pre-ordered it, I also received this cool um, cardboard box for Ikoria with uh, inserts. You can see there the Godzillas. And then also on the box, we also have Godzilla. Yeah, if we're not taking too much time in the video, I might put this together at the end of the video, but yeah, probably not. I don't want to take too much time. So let's get our pre-release set opened. So we need our need a knife. Let's pop this baby open. Alrighty. So, slide it out. I think we've got the nice case. That's cool. Uh, deck box. That's cool. Alrighty. So, we got a spin down counter, a green one with the Ikoria logo on it. The monster's eye. So, that's kind of cool. Put that off to the side. All right, refocus. And then this comes with, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six booster packs. Uh, plastic insert. Uh, some tokens uh, for statuses like flying, indestructible, death touch. You guys know about that stuff. Um, yeah, we don't want to see, we got, um, yeah, code for MTG Arena. And then, of course, we got a promo card. So our promo card for this one is going to be the Skycat Sovereign. And you can see there's a uh, date on there, April 18th through the 19th. Maybe that's focused. <laughs> All right, cool. So that's kind of cool. And, of course, uh... Yeah, a little insert how to mutate your creatures so it's a cool cool nice cool little feature they've added um also uh talking about companions so how to build a pre-release deck uh use up to one companion uh 15 to 18 creatures five to eight other spells and then your mana curve uh recommended mana curve that they have for the pre-release and then they're recommending yeah 17 lands so and don't forget, when in doubt, ask for advice. That's good advice right there. I like it. All right. So again, yep, yeah, got our box, and that's all that's on the inside. So let's put that stuff back in and get our booster packs opened. All right. Let's put that off to the side. Put our spinner counter back in there. So we got our first booster pack here. Let's get this open. Alrighty. So we got our commons in the front. Um, oh, that was the guy from the uh, from the package. That's cool. What was he prickly marmoset? Cool. There's a boar. That one might be a wilt. Lurking dead eye. Uh, Moscow Goriak. Uh, Nipper. Yeah, so those are our commons, and then our uncommons. Got the Julian Skybonder, a Migration Path, and a alternate art for the Glowstone Recluse. You know, got that spider guy. I hate spiders. <laughs> All right, so let's see what our rare is. Uh, Offspring's Revenge, and then of course our Gain Land and another status card. All right, so next pack. Oh, I like these. These <laughs> these packs are a lot easier to open than the booster box. I like it. Alrighty. So, ooh, I saw a foil in there. Ooh, that's a secret. Don't let anyone know. Alright, so again, we've got our commons. Cool, cool. Oh, another uh, alternate art cavern whisperer. Uh, under. And uncommons. 
primal empathy, avian oddity, barrier breach, and then our rare is going to be a mythos of snapdax. All right, so I think that's pretty cool. And we also got a foil in this one, and it's a foil rare for Titan's Nest. So we got that so at the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library, put that card into my graveyard, uh, exile the card from the graveyard, and add a colorless mana, and spend this mana only to cast a colored spell with X in its mana cost. That's very specific. Well, that, uh, yeah, that'd probably be very useful. And then a basic land and a Kraken token. So next pack, that's a little bit harder to open. There we go. Alrighty. So the commons, commons, each yield, fish weave, and then another alternate art, dream tail heron. That's kind of cool. And then we got a alternate art liger for our uncommon, a necropanther, and a porcu parrot. <laughs> so, okay. And then uh, another mythos card for this one's mythos of Iluna, uh, for our rare basic land and a token. Alrighty, next pack. Okay. Alrighty. So I really, really like the art that's in these cards. The Ikoria art, just amazing art. Another Evolving Wild. It's like I have enough Evolving Wilds in this set. I think that's probably like the 20th Evolving Wild I've gotten since I've bought these. Uh, so we got our Uncommons. I'm back for more. I'm coming back for more Evolving Wilds, it looks like. Um, and then a Nightmare card with Mutate. That's cool. Uh, rare Slither Wisp Elemental Nightmare. Uh, it's our spell that has flash draw a card. Oh, and opponent loses a life. Oh, I've got a friend that would love to use this card. I, I hate him when he uses this type of stuff. And then uh, Foil Common, Spontaneous Flight, up from two special, uh, Gain Land, and a Dinosaur Token. Okay, next one. Let's open it up. Two packs here left. Let's hope I get some good stuff in this pack. Uh, it's not looking too spectacular. I mean, we don't have any uh, triomes. No, another evolving wild. It's like, like I just said, this is the most common card in this entire set. Uh, uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. What did it say? Did it say a bird, a bird goat. What, what is? What the heck is a bird goat? Okay, <laughs> whatever. Uh, so uncommons off to the side. A uh, rare is a demon kraken. Um, Gyruda, Gruda, Doom of Depths. Ow, man, that's creepy looking. But I like, I like, I like. I said, I love the art in this set. It's amazing. Uh, basic land and some advertising. And we're on to our last pack. Yeah, not looking too good. Not looking too good with this pre-release. Um, I mean, it probably it would be really good for a draft. Um, but... So, let's see. Where's the last one? Oh, good. No Evolving Wilds. Yeah, I got lucky on that one. <laughs> Crystal, all right, and then the rare. We got a triome. Good, good, good. We got one good card. One good card in this set. I like it. <laughs> so this one's the uh, Ketria, Ketria triome. Uh, it's a forest island mountain. Uh, very. These are these triome cards are really, really going to be useful. It's going to bring the value of fetch lands up. It's going to go crazy. Here in a few minutes, here in a few months, when uh, the release comes out in uh, the rest of the world, um, but so that's a really good card to have. Got a game land and then a human soldier token, and that is it for today. So we got a few minutes left here. So like I said, we're gonna quickly put together this box. So we got our. 
card divider inserts. So those are really cool. And then we get our box. Sorry, this is the first time I've put together one of these, so <laughs> not doing too good. <laughs> I should have practiced one of these earlier. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. Alrighty, and we are wrapped up. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> so I got the box. It's got Godzilla on the front and on the back. Yeah, I'll make this better later on. <laughs> so yeah, but that's really cool. Magic the Gathering Ikoria pre-release box set. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked it, like I said in my previous video, I'm going to try to release these videos uh, more often, um, even if it's just like some random booster packs that I pick up from the LGS. Um, so just something just to keep this going. I want to try to do a weekly uh, podcast where I uh, review some of my favorite cards, get your input on your favorite cards as well. Um, like anything uh put post some things into the comments let me know what you guys want to see what you guys don't want to see um i'm new at this so i'm always up for some uh, opinions some advice on doing these uh so give me your input and if you like this and you want to see more hit the subscribe button uh ring the bell to keep yourself updated and i look forward to our next uh video and opening so see you next time take care